I don't know who Gucci third leg is. I don't know how you <laughs> best need to hear that. I don't even care. I don't need to know how you came up with the name or none of that. I don't know you. We'll never speak. Um, Danae Davis, if I got that correct, come take this walk with me. You and all of the internet 304s who look at this lifestyle that you live and, you know, you, 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 you take the currency that you obtain from simps and guys with low self-esteem and you look at that lifestyle and it supersedes all of the demonic engagements and interactions that come from it. And you say to yourself, I can buy whatever I want. I don't, I don't, so what if I'm being overly sexual? Maybe, so what if I'm disrespecting my family and my last name? So what? Why does that really make a difference? I'm out here buying cars and purses and whatever I want. I can get a passport and fly wherever I want. All at the expense of just being a woman, just being physically attractive and being able to just do whatever I please because the way society is now, you can be a hoe and it's okay. No one's going to shame you for it. And if they do, you get punished for it. Let me talk to you for a second. So I, let me get this straight. I just watched a video where apparently before you even hit 19 years old, you were already in videos on social media doing just about every unimaginable thing a, a father could ever detest, a mother could ever detest. At least that's how I was brought up. That was that was shameful. There was not a single person in your household that was looking at that as reputable. No one was proud of that shit. But we in a different time, so I, I get it. So you, you go from being an 18-year-old chick that just hops from video to video, showing off all type of cheek, all type of thigh, basically just saying this is who I am as a woman this is this is what I think a woman is supposed to represent you go from video hopping to OnlyFans to dealing with pornographic actors and life was fun you just loved it you just enjoyed it oh oh you just enjoyed it until reality slaps you in the face, right? Cue the law and order music. Now, you getting on the internet crying. You crying. You want empathy. You want people to feel sorry for you. And all of those women who were rallying behind you in these comment sections, you go girl, girl power, independence, all that stupid shit y'all be talking about. Where y'all at now? Where are you at now? See, it's all fun and games. It's all cool to support women being out here just thotting it out and slutting it up. It's okay not to have rules and morals and any type of sense of self until you start to end up reaping what you sold. You have something that you can't get rid of now. And what's worse is you've known that you had it. You've known that you had it for six to seven months prior to even getting on social media speaking on it. So not only are you <laughs> just overall irresponsible and childish, but you've put other people at risk because of your silence. And you ladies are to blame because you support this shit. 
and then the men, you're no worse or better. You support women like her too. Yeah, she's an adult. She's over the age of 18. She knows better. But y'all support this shit. You spend your money on that. You go in your privacy of your wherever. And you get that P. Diddy lotion. That that bit that Johnson & Johnson. And you, you do your thing. And then it's like nothing happened. But y'all be the reason why people walking around here with STDs and herpes and all that shit. And then y'all want to get on social media and blame and point fingers at everybody else for your irresponsibility. Y'all ain't ready for that conversation, though.